Hello and welcome back to XR Tools for Ed. My name is Eric and I help educators and learners unlock the full potential of immersive learning. In this week's episode, we are going to take a look at presentations, something that people have been doing for decades using all sorts of tools from PowerPoint to Google Slides to Keynote, etc. And I would like to explore ways that you could actually take that existing content that you've been using in other presentations and bring it into Frame VR for an immersive presentation that I think just adds a little bit of more sense of presence and also gives you unlimited possibilities for creativity. So let's take a look into what I mean, showing you some examples. So I have several examples of presentations that I have made in Frame VR. This is the first example from an experience that I had with some elementary students that were studying weather. And so this is a pretty basic example to allow you to understand what I mean in terms of the immersive potential for a presentation in Frame VR. This is simply a PDF that I up created in Canva and uploaded to Frame VR. And if I move in or out, then you get the sense that I am in the room. This is called the gallery space within Frame VR. So initially, there's not a lot of change here functionally between a regular presentation and a presentation in Frame VR. You can see here I can incorporate a video. Where it starts to get a little bit different here is being able to bring in 360 degree photos. So I happen to live in France, south of France, and I also happen to have a drone. So I have the ability to take and upload 360 degree photos to be able to show the students where I live and what it looks like in the summertime, and then contrast that with what it looks like in the wintertime. Do you need a drone to upload, to, to access and create 360 degree photos? Absolutely not. There are many, many ways to achieve the same level of immersion and 360 degree presence here within Frame VR. So if I move around the room and just check out a couple of the other features, again, photos, videos, nothing terribly different here, except for the ability to be able to move around the room. And if you wanted to, you could also have this as a collaborative or a synchronous activity where other people could be included here and you can move them around the room. Now, another more advanced example here is one that I created around exploring the possibilities of immersive presentations in Frame VR. Yeah, I did not create an actual environment in Frame. Rather, I just uploaded that same 360 degree photo. And then you can see here that you would progress through the presentation. You can clearly see that you can include videos, you can include photos, you can include the ability to zoom in on the photos so that you can see them closer. There's me getting ready to go skiing at age two. And as you can see on the buttons that you can include audio, I'm not gonna play that because it interferes with the recording of this video. And then you actually progress through the presentation that way, very different. Again, I'm not gonna pro progress forward because it starts the audio track and that is very confusing for this video. Lastly, I'd like to show you an example of a presentation I just recently made in person. I was at lucky enough to be invited to the Actum Educational Conference in Maine in October. This is the presentation that I made to those that came to my session. And it is a progression where I walked through various slides that I had made in Canva and I just exported those as images and I brought those images here into frame and then I would stop at each sign if you will and expand on these photos and I would make my presentation and explain my timeline and then I would move on to the other one here. So you can as you can see as I progress through the pictures on the billboards show up based on my proximity. We'll go into how I built this and constructed this in the second section of this series, but I just wanted to kind of quickly th go through and show you how I use this space. This particular part, I didn't plan it to be like this, but it came out exceptionally well in my opinion. So I wanted to link people to my presentation that I just showed you about the, the immersive one it, with this 360 degree photo of the skiing. and. I actually came, found a very old icon for Sugarloaf. This is a ski area in Maine. I was making the presentation in Maine. And it just, as it turned out, I was able to position this such that this is the icon for the ski area and that is the actual ski area in the back. So kind of didn't plan it to be come out like that, but I was pretty, pretty psyched how that lined up. And then lastly, come over here. There's a 3D model of an arrow 
directing people to look down here and I imported a, an image and that was another stopping point for my presentation. Lastly, you come up to the end and it looks like we're gonna walk off from the end of the platform and the final slide as part of this part of the presentation, explanation about why I chose Frame VR for my XR Docs presentation. So that gives you a sense of what are the possibilities in terms of creative ways that you can make a presentation here within Frame VR. In episode number two, we're actually gonna break this particular presentation down and I'm gonna show you step by step how I built it, where I found the 3D models, how I built the interactions, how I built the environment, et cetera. So stay tuned for that. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section down below and I'd be interested to hear if you have other ideas or if anybody else has made a presentation here within frame and i look forward to seeing you in episode number two